In this video, we're going to enhance our drum sound even further by creating a very ambient and aggressive sounding compression channel. This is a way you can take your drum mix and really make it sound big and roomy and ambient by adding a few effects within your compression bus. Now let's take a listen to what we have so far. We've added the classic compressor. We're doing about three to five dB of gain reduction with a slow attack, fast release, and a ratio of 1.5. We also have created an ambient distortion channel where we're sending all of our ambient mics to an additional channel and applying a distortion effect. This is what it sounds like so far. So let's go ahead and create our compression channel. And to do this, we will select all of our routed bus channels. We won't be shy here. We're gonna grab all of the close mics, the overhead, and the ambience channel. So let's solo the compression channel. I brought the fader down just a bit, and we will set all of the bus sends to pre-fader or post effects. Once again, just so we can hear our changes in the soloed compression bus. I'll leave the send levels all the same. We may adjust those a bit later. Right now, we should just hear our dry drum mix. So we're gonna start off by adding the tape simulator and we are going to increase the drive just a bit. This will increase the level of this comp bus and also just add a little bit of that tape warmth and saturation. Next, we're going to add another distortion effect, and this time we will use the valve distortion box. Now for this example, I'm just going to choose this OV1 distortion type, and we'll increase the drive by 3 dB. just adds a little bit of grit to our comp channel. Next, we're going to add a plate reverb. And for the most part, we'll use the default settings. However, we'll bring the reverb time down to one second, and we will increase the pre-delay just a bit as well. Next, we'll add a filter delay just to give our comp channel a very subtle echo. We'll use the sync option, set it to 16th notes. We'll lower the repeat down to 20% and the mix level down to 15%. And then we will lower both the speed and center frequencies so that the delay echo is only applied to the lower frequency spectrum. Now because this is a synced delay, it may be difficult to hear what that did. So if I bring up my audition pad, you can hear that it creates just a little bit of a slap back. If I turn off the filter delay, we don't have that. Now this is something we can adjust later or take out completely, but right now we'll leave it in. And the last thing we're going to add to our comp channel is the actual compressor. Up to this point, we've just been layering a lot of different effects to alter the sound of the signal we're sending to the comp channel. Now we need to add a compressor. We'll use some aggressive settings and really take this compression channel over the top, and then we will mix that in with our full drum mix. So I brought in the compressor effect, and what I've done here is set the ratio to 8 to 1, so that's a pretty high ratio. We have a very fast attack with a relatively slow release. What this is going to do 
is aggressively compress anything above the threshold. The fast attack will really compress that transient and the slow release will hold on to the signal. So it'll keep it compressed, which will give it this big ambient roomy sound. You're gonna hear some pumping artifacts as well, which is okay because we're going for more of that aggressive compressed sound. So let's go ahead and adjust the threshold so that we have about five to 10 dB of compression. I'll adjust the makeup gain accordingly and we'll see what that does to our compression channel. Let's unsolo the comp channel. We'll bring it down all the way and let's listen to what this sounds like with the full mix. I'll slowly bring it up. So there we have a very full, very aggressive ambient sounding compression channel. Now let's take a listen to our entire mix. I will mute the compression channel and I will enable and disable some of these specific effects in the compression bus effect chain. I will also disable the ambient distortion bus and disable the classic compressor. So basically we'll hear what every component that we've added does to our full drum mix. So between those options, the classic compressor on the output of your drum channel, a distortion bus for your ambience channels, and then a comp channel with an entire effects chain and compressor, each one of these adds a different flavor to your drum mix to add an aggressive sound, a bigger ambient sound, and you can use any combination of them. This will work well on any drum mix and any set of drums within Superior Drummer 3. As a quick example, I can keep this mix, simply go up, grab a different kit 
from the parts preset. We'll grab this Premiere Kit. And now I have this Premiere Kit loaded with the same mix effects, and it works well with really any kit within Superior Drummer 3 library.